Hey everybody, Jeff aka Jakers here. I hope you're all having a great day. It is currently 12.41 p.m. on the 6th of October 2024. If you are liking what you're watching, which I hope you are, feel free to click that subscribe button. You'll be alerted when I release new content. This is the, uh, oh, the announcement of the, that the, oh, the, the polling for the Black Sight Files from Unsolved Mysteries the case of Rogers Kane, the thumbnail contest will be, or poll will be opening up pretty damn quickly. But let's get to that right now, shall we? Okay, so basically, I have this video is going to be broken into two main parts. I'm gonna I will, I'm gonna show you the candidates that I created, and then I'm going to show you the choices that ultimately you can vote on. Now you can find all of these. Uh, Oh, all of these polls I create on my YouTube page. I'll show you right now. If you go to my YouTube page, you will actually uh, see a lot of different things. If you click on community and it loads up, there goes, you will see all the different things that I posted. Uh, these are basically where the posts go. And it basically shows like what I'm currently doing. Like yesterday, it was my announcement when I was going to upload the, uh, missing time or robert matthews uh case and if you scroll down i have the schedule here another poll here okay hold on yep same poll. yeah but here's the uh poll for the thumbnails so basically you know you can go to the community tab and that will show you you know what the options are for the polls so let's scroll back up okay so Basically, these are the candidates that I uh, that I came up with. All of these are screen captures uh, from the case itself. So everything you see here is actually from the case itself. So we're going to start off with candidate number one. And we have, this is the standard image for Rogers uh, Kane. This is what I call his introduction image. This is uh, on his Wikipedia page also. It's just basically a photo of him sitting at home in a chair. Now, this these following uh, pictures of Rogers Kane are of the actor because me, like a lot of younger people, when we first watched this show, we thought that these case that the things we were seeing in the video was actually happening on camera. So, but this is uh, Rod just uh, working at his job. It's kind of sad if you really think about it because Robert Stack mentioned that when a worker is really reliable and they're quiet, we really don't realize that they're missing until they're gone. And that's sadly what happened with Rogers. The next candidate we had was Rogers when he left his house for the last time. Basically, he was walking to the hardware store to get some tools, I think it was, for uh, some uh, repairs or home additions or something. Up next, we have Robert Stack. Uh, Robert Stack is always in these cases, as you know, but he always seems to be in a unique setting for that case. You know, sometimes it may carry over to other cases, but each episode always seems to have Robert Stack normally in one location. And that, I don't think that location is ever used again, but here we go. This is the location that Robert Stack used, that they used uh, for Robert Stack's uh, appearance in this episode. Up next, we have Robert, uh, not Robert Stack, Rogers Kane, when he was re, uh, contacting a neighbor, I think I think they said it was a neighbor, to, and he told his neighbor that he wouldn't be going in for into work, which I always thought was kind of weird because of the fact that he didn't contact his family. He contacted a neighbor, you know, but maybe the neighbor was his boss or something. I don't know. I don't know. Up next, we have an inside the car shot. This was when Rogers was found in a neighborhood and security basically came to uh, check to see who he was. Oh, wrong. Sorry. Up next, we actually have Rogers. It's believed that Rogers had a stroke and basically it, it impaired his memory and the only thing rogers really knew was how to continue to work 
And in this scene, Rod just was uh, reaching, uh, he was calling phone numbers that were on the uh, want ads. Now, to those who do not know, because they're a little bit younger, want ads are basically, they were uh, job ads that you would find in the newspaper. And then finally, we have this, uh, this, it's theorized that Rod just, uh, he may have been picked up by like social services or or even uh, paramedics and that since he doesn't know who he is because of possibly having a stroke they took him to a hospital or a care center this scene here basically shows rod just sitting in a chair at either a hospital or a care center as you know and nobody knows who he is which is actually a, a very sad outcome if this is actually what happened to rod just it's actually kind of sad what ended up happening to Rogers. Okay, now we are on to the choices. These are the four choices that you can uh, vote on when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the thumbnail that's going to be picked for the Rogers Kane Black Sight Files from Unsolved Mysteries case. So we're going to start off with number one. This is the default. I'm always going to pick one default, which is the one I would normally use to use, uh, and then one of Robert Stack, and then two will have the uh, uh, an image from the case itself. So this is the default. Uh, basically, this is like a, I just I uh, did an AI image generation of a long hallway with lights like every 15 feet apart or something like that. I just wanted something different instead of the normal background that I do use. Number two, we have, it's uh, the introduction to Rogers Kane, and uh, basically it was him in better times. He actually looked like a really nice guy, if you ask me. Number three, we have Rogers Kane re uh, contacting his neighbor, uh, letting his neighbor know that he would not be going into work. And then finally, we have the image of Robert Stack. And basically, like I mentioned in the previous uh, portion, uh, Robert Stack was always at a location when he would do these uh, cases. But you can find all of these choices, like I said, in the community section. I will be putting the poll up pretty quickly after I get done create, uh, uploading this or finishing this video, I guess you could say. Okay, everybody. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has taken the time out of their day to watch this. Um, I have the schedule posted, right? Well, it's not posted yet, but it will be posted also. But so basically I am looking for, uh, looking towards about October 19th when this, uh, case will be uploaded. So the, uh, the, the timeline that I'm hoping is that I'm going to have everything ready. I'm going to start recording on the 19th and have it uploaded and ready to view at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, ladies and gentlemen. The poll for the thumbnail will be uh, will be active until noon on the 19th, which is a Saturday. Yeah, it's a Saturday if I remember correctly. Let me check. Yeah, it's a, uh, next Saturday. Oh, no, it's Saturday. Uh, two weeks or yeah it's in about two weeks roughly give or take you know so yeah uh so i'm going to be working on that and then on the 26th of october it will be the final uh video in relation to season one episode 10 and it's just basically my uh review of this episode of you know unsolved mystery season one episode 10 where i will basically be giving you my thoughts about each of the cases okay that is about it ladies and gentlemen if you like what you watch which i hope that you did feel free to leave the uh, comment below click on that like button click on the subscribe and the bell and you will be alerted when i release new content i'm going to head on out now and i will see you all for the next black site files from unsolved mysteries my name is jeff a.k.a. Jeekers, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.